Hi there, it's me again. I'm going to quickly show you how you can reset your child's password if you would like to while we are doing our digital learning. Okay, so all I need you to do is log into a student Chromebook or if you got a different device, totally fine. Just go to google.com and sign in. Remember, it's last name, period, first name, at libertytechcharter.org if you are using another device. As soon as you type that in, you'll, your student will, should be able to uh, put in their password. If they have forgotten their password, just reach out to me, tyler.willis at libertytechcharter.org, and I'll be able to reset that password email you back, let you know the temporary, and you can go about it that way, okay? So all you need to do, start a new tab. If you're inside of your Chromebook, your student will be able to come to a screen that looks similar to this. Um, you'll then need to press the waffle, okay? Off to the left of the menu that just popped up, you'll see the button that says account. From here, I do a deep dive into every different aspect of um, your Google settings for my middle school students. However, just to simply address the password issue, all you have to do is click on the left side where it says security. In the middle, you'll see where it says signing into Google, where it says password, then click here. Now, all your student will need to do is type in their password that they have for now, and then click next. You'll follow a few more prompts to where they can change their password to something that's now more secure. It needs to be more than six characters, and I would generally include a mixture between capital letters and numbers. So to do a capital letter, hold the shift button, and then type whatever letter that you want capitalized. My middle school students, we do a deep dive and talk about the differences between like a level three kind of password, which I call the most secure. Those are long, longer sentences and include a mixture between numbers and characters. Um, a level two kind of a password is something that's relatively easy for a student to remember and can easily log in. However, a level one kind of a password, you don't want those. Those are those simple ones that's like ABC123. You don't want to have a password like that because it's very easy to try. That's on the top 10 for hackers to try to um, use first. Um, so just make sure that you're choosing an appropriate password that your student can easily remember. I would even go ahead as, as far as having your student write down uh, kindergarten, first grade, uh, we sent home some login cards for y'all. Um, so make sure to have that. I would even have it on my Chromebook with some tape. That way my student can see it. Um, if you have a post-it note, piece of paper, cut it out, whatever you need to get it done, um, have your student write down their pat their email address. Remember, it follows the, the naming convention of last name, period, first name, the at symbol, and that's holding down your shift and pressing the number two key. That's how you get that at symbol. And then it's libertytechcharter.org. Then have them write down whatever password they have chosen. Okay. I hope you found this uh, helpful in terms of uh, resetting your password to have a more secure password while you're, while we are having this distant and virtual learning. Now, if for whatever reason your student forgets their password, no problem. Just send me an email. Remember, my email is tyler.willis at libertytechcharter.org, and I can reset your password. And if you can't remember that one, just email your homeroom teacher, and they'll they'll forward it over to me. We'll get it taken care of. Um, so that's how you can quickly reset your password. Have a great day.